What do you call a creeper in a pool of lava? Destroyed. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I do like me a good joke, but you know what I don't like? Joke books, because they're usually crap. I was hoping that some work of genius would emerge to change my mind, but instead I heard about Jokes for Minecrafters, an unofficial joke book for Minecrafters. And they really, really want you to know that it's unofficial and in no way associated with anyone or anything to do with Minecraft, despite wanting to make money off their idiot fanbase. Even the illustrations look nothing like Minecraft characters, but just how bad is it? Well, fellow humans, let's find out. I've never played Minecraft, but my friend James has, so I tricked him into reading this with me, so I could make a somewhat objective judgement. Minecraft is a lot like a foreign language. You know, this tells me everything I need to know. This is gonna be terrible. Yeah. Why have I signed up for this? Booby traps and bombs. Where did the creeper go after the explosion? Everywhere. everywhere. But <laughs> cre creepers just disappear when they blow up. So they don't go everywhere? No, they just- what? So that's not even true? No. Well, fuck, that's a great start. <laughs> what did the player say when he blew up the creeper? Dynamite. I mean... Do you say dynamite when you blow stuff up? That's how it works in the game, right? You get TNT though, not dynamite. So that's not accurate. Please so tell there's... me you, you bought the book. Yeah, I actually paid money for this piece of shit. I'm already regretting it, but I had to see how bad these jokes were. How much did you pay for this book? It's like four quid or something, five <laughs> quid. Fucking Christ. Already it's too much. Did they get like four year olds to write these? <sighs> Probably. He is a high school student. Okay, he's clearly an idiot. What do you get when you cross a creeper with a bomb? A bomb that sneaks up on you. That's just not funny. The biggest joke is that you spent money on this. Yeah. What movie do Minecraft players like to watch? The Terminator? Re what? Why would they watch The Terminator? What, what relevance yeah, does that have? I, 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 I don't no, know, no let's words, just no. better move on. What would you get if a famous French Emperor stepped on a landmine? Napoleon blown apart? Uh, <laughs> that has nothing to do with Minecraft. <laughs> That's the funniest joke well, in the book. At least, at, least, at least that one's a little bit educational, I suppose. It's, I mean, it's a very low bar. Building landmines is an expensive hobby. Why? It can cost an arm and a leg. I feel like this this started off with the Minecraft idea and it just yeah. they just gave up after the first Just two pages. anything even vaguely related to Minecraft is just exploited into oblivion. Well this is self-published, so Please tell me she got sued to shit. No, because it's all unofficial. Like <laughs> they don't use the word Minecraft Oh they do use the word Minecraft in the jokes, but I guess you couldn't trademark that. I don't know. Tongue twisters. Okay, go. Brad borrowed Betty's bombs. As in like her boobs? They're just all going to be shit, aren't they? Cam creams creepy creepers crawling across the carpet. Creams? Wait, creams? Oh, I don't want to cream a creeper. Especially if it's crawling across the carpet. <laughs> I think this is meant, this is a children's joke book, I think, because, in fact, no, not even idiot kids would laugh at these. All right, let's have a look at lyrics. Did you hear that sound? Oh no, a ticking time bomb. Last sound was kaboom. Please tell me she doesn't have a degree. Fucking checking that, aren't we? She has absolutely no sense of humour, which her husband and son find ironic, but she doesn't get. Well, clearly she has no sense of humour. So she, so it's she blogs, we... and somehow I still have to work as a waiter. So this is what you do, just come out with shit jokes, and people like me ironically buy it. And that's where you get your money from. Fuck! There once was a player named Tom. He got hold of a very large bomb, blew up in his face, he was flung into space, now that's the end of poor Tom. Wait, you can't ride Tom with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> It's the laziest. So... And to be Jesus fair, I've Christ. seen it. To be fair, I've seen a lot of pop songs with even worse rhyming structure. So these are riddles and puns. Oh, so go. I'm gonna read them out and see if you can answer them. Okay. All right, here we it go. takes just four seconds to explode. What am I? Creeper. TNT. Fair enough. Okay. I'll you're deal shit. With it. You're shit at this. <laughs> deal with it. Hey, I wonder if this could be one of those booby kaboom. Yeah, that's like something that needs to be done in a film. You have to actually see that. Slapstick comedy needs to be seen, or at least acted out, or something, but that's just... That's just text, it's not yeah. funny. Boo Boo's made by noobs. Take this wise advice, jump in and play without fear, you will have much fun. But it's nothing to do with Minecraft. You could just as easily say that before you go into an orgy. Not that I would know. Also, just grammatically, you will have much fun. There was once a noob named Bob. He successfully slaughtered a mob. He fell into a hole, was impaled on a pole, and now Bob's a human kebab. It's really more, he's more of a human kebab, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's such a cunt. 
<laughs> this is why this is why you're here. Did you hear about the noob who built a fire in a wooden house? The entire house went up in flames. That's that's not funny, that's just tragic. Did you hear about the noob who tried to hypnotize an Enderman? He was destroyed. Did you hear about the noob who learned the hard way that you can't kill a gasp with your sword? She was destroyed. That's such an aggressive punchline. Oh. It's like, oh, did you hear about the guy that went to Somalia? He got kidnapped. Are we just laughing at people who just don't know the mechanics of the game yet? I think that's it, yeah. Is this but literally, didn't they just say, please don't blame the noob? You the noobs always improve. Yeah. And then they spend an entire section taking the piss out of them. Did you hear about the player who was so freaked out that when she was attacked by a few mobs, she forgot to use her sword? What a noob! Again, they're literally just making fun of people who don't know how to play the game. Did you hear about the author who was so freaked out when she had to write a book that she forgot to make good jokes? <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> Did you hear about the two guys that read through these jokes, having paid money for them? <laughs> <laughs> Noobs! <laughs> Did you hear about the player who left the door open and then creepers came to visit? What a noob! <laughs> Did you hear about the player who ventures into the nether without armour or weapons? What, what a, a noob! <laughs> Did you hear about the player who trapped himself? What a noob! <laughs> Did you hear about the player who built his house in creative cool. mode and spotted creepers? He hid! What a noob! <laughs> Did you hear about the player who tried making tools out of redstone, lapis and sandstone? What a noob! <laughs> That's not a punchline, you can't just say what a noob. <laughs> How many times do they use that punchline now? It's the same fucking punchline. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. Lava drowning and other dastardly ways to die. Why was the player shocked? Because he was struck by lightning. Next. <laughs> what did the player say right after the volcano exploded? Unbelovable. Next. <laughs> that's just, nah, that's shit. Next. <laughs> Why did the player throw the chicken into the fire? He wanted it barbecued. That's not how you barbecue a chicken. Okay, more tongue twisters. Next. The creeper was near. I ran and fell off a cliff to avoid creepers. I have no words. Yeah, it's not really that funny. <laughs> I um, think I need to be on something to appreciate these more. <laughs> did you hear about the player who tripped while carrying a bucket of lava? He was, he was destroyed! <laughs> did you hear about the player who walked in on two creepers? He was destroyed! <laughs> Did you hear about the player who tried to farm in the nether? He was destroyed! I feel like there's a, a lack of creative... They were just like, oh, he was destroyed. How many things destroy you? Oh, let's make a joke about it, yeah. Oh, did you oh, hear oh, about God. Did you hear about the player who met a super creeper? He was super, super destroyed. destroyed. Oh, the overworld. There's actually one good one here. What did the pig say in the desert? I'm baking out here. No, it's I'm bacon. I know, but I wanted to make You it, had one wanted, job, Jay. <laughs> like, I just I just tried to make this a bit better. What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing, Nothing. because oceans can't talk. Hmm. That's what's known as an anti-joke. I think that's a bit too clever for this book, actually. How did the player thwart the killer bunny? He named it Toast. I'm gonna need your help uh -huh, with this one. Your toast. I think that's all it that's it. That's all I can think. Somebody explain that joke in the comments, please, because I'm I'm lost. What's more dangerous than one angry witch? Two angry witches. I mean, by default, two is going to be more dangerous than one. Obviously. How do you make a witch itch? You take away the W. I fucking knew that was coming. If you tell a joke in the forest biome and nobody laughs, was it a joke? If you put a joke in a joke book and sell it and people don't laugh, was it a joke? Jockeys and baby zombie pigmen. Wait, we're pigmen. only on chapter five. Mm -hmm. We're not even halfway through the book. Oh Christ, I don't think I can survive much longer. Why did the wither skeleton jockey cross the road? To get to the body shop. So again, those jokes are just jokes about skeletons and they just rip them off and put them in this book. Pretty much. What do you call a crazy chicken jockey? Cuckoo cluck. <laughs> cuckoo! It's cuckoo! I know, but it's a cu cuckoo. Cuckoo! You had one fucking... you had one job, James. <laughs> hey look, that, that literally summed up the whole joke book. Don't apply logic. <laughs> <laughs> I will not, I'm not going to read the rest of that. Just don't apply logic. Mm. If you apply any logic to these jokes, they don't work. Logic is for chumps. I think the people that wrote this, wrote this book might need some sort of psychiatric help. Well, it was written by a high school student. How do you make your meals richer? Add carrots. Oh. Uh. <laughs> How does a creeper say hello? <laughs> Kaboom! So they ran out of jokes, so they've gone back to the creepers again. I, d I don't. I don't even want to read some of these out. 
What does Taylor Swift sing when she plays Minecraft and eats potatoes? Tater's gonna tate. I'm assuming Taylor Swift would never eat potatoes while playing Minecraft, if she ever played Minecraft. Also, it's like they shoehorned in a Minecraft reference just in order to make that joke. Knock knock. Who's there? You're a diamond. Diamond who? You're a diamond me crazy. What? Is that supposed to be you're driving me crazy? But they don't even sound similar. That's fucking awful. You know what? It'd been better if it says knock knock. Who's there? A jive. Jive who? Someone who's gonna jive you crazy. See, there you go. You should write your own maybe, one. Like, maybe that would have been a little bit better. Oh, these are creative, creative jokes. Okay. Why did the mum help her child create a Minecraft version of Iron Man? It was character building. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What did the Minecraft player with the blocked nose say? I wish I was a Minecraft character. So it's funny because they don't have noses and he's got a blocked nose. What's the tallest building in Minecraft? The library, because it has the most stories. Fucking... <laughs> such a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> what can make a Minecraft player cry? Nothing. We're really tough. It's not true though, is it? It's just not true. What can make a Minecraft player cry? Everything. We're really sensitive. But literally on the previous page, <laughs> you just said we're really tough. Fuck off. Fuck this book. <laughs> Who the fuck are these oh, people oh, 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 that wrote oh, oh. this? This is actually quite good. What did the zombie see when he pulled down the Enderman's trousers? <laughs> His ender pants. <laughs> I think we're done here. I think we're done. <laughs> that, that's like the best thing I've seen in like 20% of the book. <laughs> the day to night cycle doesn't exist. Where are you? At the end. Fuck. Fucking <laughs> Christ. What's the most popular <laughs> phrase in Minecraft? You died! Wait, no, what, that's, that's, no, that's, that's Dark Souls. Wait, what? How is Minecraft like deja vu? Every time you play the game, you feel like you've been here before. Isn't it procedurally generated? Yeah, so that just means it's a shit repetitive game, if that's the case. If a player was born in Sweden, and raised in America, and died in Mexico, what does that make him? Deceased. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! There's a first time for everything, except when you respawn. Just because you respawn doesn't mean there isn't a first time for everything. It's a time. Because there's, surely there's a first time when you've respawned. It's just, no, that just, that's a shit joke. Ugh, whatever. Eleven! Chapter eleven! Let's end our suffering. You might be a Minecraft addict if you watch YouTube Minecraft videos hourly. Well, if you do, you just have shit taste, don't you? You might be a Minecraft addict if you mistake your dog for a sheep. No one does that. Literally nobody does that. Oh god. This actually makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> you might be a Minecraft addict if you get a high score at the Minecraft addiction test site. No fucking well, no shit. no shit, yeah. Minecraft sayings we'd like to see. You know what, that's it. I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> it's just all oh, shit. Vaini VD Viki Minecraft! No. What the fucking- what? I ain't afraid of no ghasts. They're just basically ripping people off now. I mine, therefore I craft. This is what Cartesian philosophy has been reduced to. This. Oh my god. Oh, thank it's over. Oh, thank fuck. oh, Jesus. So yeah, Mr. Minecraft expert. Please, funny or not? Please, please kill me. This is, this is just, this is pain. This whole book was pain. Surprisingly, a book called An Unofficial Joke Book for Minecrafters is not funny. If, if this is what free speech entails, I want to send all these people like them to start fascism all over again. I think it should be classified as hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> hate speech against jokes. Crimes against humour. Yeah, honestly, I think most of the people that bought this are just doing it to take the piss. They're relying on ironic purchases, aren't they? It's just a scam. They're trying, just trying to trick like 12 year olds into buying it or tricking parents into buying it for their kids thinking the kids will find the jokes funny. I don't think kids will find those jokes funny. No. And even if you even if you play Minecraft, they're not funny. Basically, this book is a lie. It says 800 plus jokes inside. There were only four that were actually funny. Like ender pants. Yeah. Blown so that's apart. that's like a couple of pence then. A couple of pence worth of, of humor. Please oh. never again. There's also another joke book by the way, oh, which we Jesus might do another Christ. time. <laughs> Hilarious jokes. We might, we might do that another time. Maybe this is the problem. You just went for jokes instead of hilarious jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what you just heard was only a mere fraction of the full scale of the profound insult to hilarity found in this book. 
If you'd like to see us cover the second book, release a longer, more in-depth version of this video, or just want to hear more of James's oh-so-sexy voice, leave a comment down below. And until next time, stay cynical.